Hello, Dream Pixel Gaming here, and we're back with some more Mushroom 11. Today, we will be handling Episode 2. So let's get right into it. Um, if you don't understand how the game works, just go and check out Episode 1, and everything will be explained. <coughs> now, Chapter 2 is much, much harder, as you would expect from a second level. But... It's also a lot more fun. I'm gonna be trying to get that, um, delicious, delicious food. Like that. Um... So we're past that. Let's just collect some stuff. Bridge the gap. Oh, okay. Fail. I want to get up there because I'm trying to get as much as I possibly can. about going silent I just was focusing for a second um I might not be able to get this one it's really hard it also seems that you can't regenerate while you're in the air which is interesting well at least we made it through we can at least grab that Oh, wait a second. So we've got to go over here. Honk. And we've got to knock it down. It's a little confusing because some of the objects in this game are movable. Even though they don't really seem like they would be. Now, we haven't actually reached the hard part of this level yet. The reason why it's so hard is because of something special that happens later. And up. Now this part's really cool. Remember how you can grab onto things? Well, you're gonna need to do that a lot here. All we've got to do is get up. Dang it! We failed. Okay. Well, that's an interesting way of doing it. But hey, it works. There we go. In order to get these things, you've got to get on top of them like that. But they are basically like lava. They'll kill you. 
and being killed is not a good thing. There we go. Sometimes you've got to be willing to sacrifice yourself to the point where there's only a tiny bit left in order to get certain things. Let's grab that. Okay. So what it seems we need to do is we need to move that boulder. And we do that by Linking ourselves up here. That didn't work. Let's go back up. I, I killed myself too much to actually create enough force. So. Oh. And we're through. Okay, here's where it gets hard. That purple stuff's a bit different than the lava we've encountered so far. Because while it does destroy you, while it's still infecting, it will constantly destroy you. Which is not a good thing. Now we got through really quickly. Now we've got to be very cautious here. Because the whole point of this part is that you're trying to grow. Finally! So we gotta get all of those in order to continue with those parts. So now we're in a cave-like area. Poison spiders. These are very dangerous things. There we go. If you could destroy the poison part of you still, which is very important to remember. Really, and I had to choose the one place that I couldn't even get the point for dying? Oh, of course. Anyways, so once again, um, if you have any game suggestions for what you want to see me play next, just leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, it really would actually mean a lot. Got it, without even killing ourselves. I forgot you could chop yourself off and um, grow that way. It's a little hard to remember sometimes. It's a complicated system. Um, also, if I've got I've got a question for you guys. I want you to leave your answer in the comments. Um, are you are you a comp um? I think I've asked the same question before in my I want to be the guy the movie the game playthrough, but it's worth asking again. Are you a completionist, or do you just want to beat the regular game and don't really care how much of the extras you get? It's kind of a question about gaming style. Also, what genre is your favorite? Personally, I like role-playing games and stuff, but puzzle games um, aren't that bad. I mean, like, I enjoy this quite a bit. No! as hard as it is. I forgot how much trouble this one specific segment gave me when I played it through my first time. Rocket!
How are you supposed to do this? Somebody, please? How? Think I accidentally killed the one bit of me that could have saved my life. Anyway, sorry about it getting a little repetitive here. But that's just kind of how this part is. If you haven't noticed, there is a big difficulty spike. So that's- you have to be so slow sometimes. Oops. At least we respawn here now. We don't have to do that annoying part over again. figure out whether I'm supposed to go super fast here, or if I'm supposed to take my time and go extra, extra slow. I think I'm supposed to take my time and go extra, extra slow. But it's really hard. Nope, that isn't how you're supposed to do it. Eh, well, at least it was worth the shot. Dang it, I was actually doing really, really well there. If you're touching a wall, you're able to regenerate. That's what I'm able to infer from my experiences so far. It went a little too far. Huh. Huh. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, and I've already played the level two. I just forgot how hard this is. Dang it! If you go just one thing too deep. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was such good luck! Checkpoint, and here is a really hard part. This was one of the most fun parts for me when I played through this level, though. You gotta kind of make your way up and through all these little dot things. Because of your uh, ability to degenerate, regenerate, degenerate, regenerate, you can kind of crawl your way through and lock into each and every one. But at the same time, it doesn't mean it's easy. I mean, because if you go too small, you can fit right through, just like that.
Oh my gosh, that was such luck. Had that little tiny dot fallen anywhere but right there, I would have been done for. Now, I don't care about DNA right here. I just want to get through this. No! Dang it, I was doing so well. So it seems that you want to take the high ground here. Um, going up and up and up. Um, just so you know, guys, I don't plan on doing a Minecraft anything for a little while. So if you're curious why I'm not jumping on the bandwagon, it's mainly because I'm trying to play more unique, less oversaturated games before I move on to the more oversaturated ones later on. I'm trying to give my followers a more unique, less seen experience. But obviously if you want me to play Minecraft, I will. Dang it! We can do this, we can do this! Dang it again! Why is that specific part so hard? Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How did I- what? What? How in the world did I- I should not have been able to survive that. But I did, and I'm not complaining. No! No! Not at the same place again. It's not gonna happen this time. See? There we go! Oh no 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 no! Okay. We are through. Let's just grab that because we can. But who cares about that? We need the save point. Oh dang it. One of these. Here we go. So this one's a bit harder. There's a couple of ways we can do it. We can technically we can always try to just cover them all at once, which is definitely the faster option. And might actually work if we do it right. Or, you could do it this way. Which takes a lot longer. Oh! Hey, look! We could drop off, and if we had the other four, the other ones lit up, we just got through. But it's time for the boss fight! And this is gonna be awesome. This specific boss is amazing. You kind of engulf the eyeballs. No! Fortunately, you keep your progress. Every once in a while, its leg will come down and fling it up. Like that. So you in order to get up to the top, you've gotta wait for something like that to happen and hope that you manage to make the land. Oh, all three. And I think we only have to hit one more time in order to win.
Okay. How are you supposed to get up there? For the life of me, I can't figure this out. Are you supposed to just kind of crawl up that leg? Oh, you can do that? Okay. That isn't the end of the boss, but it's close to. Now we just kind of got to get over this and wait and push it down. Just like that. And that way we can get over. And that's chapter two. Thank, this is Dream Pixel Gaming signing out, and thank you for watching. Have a good day, guys.